it's just uh, we really love it here and um, I don't know there's so many great people that that help run the festival what is the meanest thing ever said to you before after or during a gig uh, don't give up your day job as I was smashing a Telecaster in Regina uh, this guy <laughs> leaned over the balcony he's like don't give up your day job <laughs> is this like mid swing? Like yeah, you hear we, this? we had had the worst show, and I, I had actually come back and tried to break the guitar like three times, and finally I broke it. And as I broke it, he he said that to me. Anytime we're in Germany, it's hard to you know gauge whether someone is giving you a compliment or it's really backhand. Like, uh, good try tonight, guys. Okay. You're just along for the ride, aren't you? He asks. He's all. He's all. Yeah, man. You guys really sound like suicide. And I, I had a moment where I blanked out and I was like, because it didn't really make sense. Because <laughs> it doesn't make a lot of sense. And, and, uh, and so I just said, oh, I'm sorry, I don't, don't know what you're talking about. And then he was like, you're just along for the ride, aren't you? <laughs> I was so angry. And then I told Jay Retard about it, actually, because we were playing with him that mm. night. And uh, he told me I was an ominous and powerful woman. What has been your strangest celebrity encounter? I've met Bruce Springsteen a few times, but it ain't been much strange about that, really. Oh, yeah, it was a bit strange because I was explaining when I played a Les Paul, it does my back in, and he said, You've got to have it shaved at the back, Steve. And that blew my mind. I'm asking the boss about the Les Paul, you know, and he gave me a bit of advice get me shaved at the back, and you don't, you don't have to go to a chiropractor. <laughs> I had a, a show in Montreal, just to keep things uh, Canadian here. Mm -hmm. And I met the, the editor of The Onion. Do you know The Onion? I'm familiar with The Onion. Great guy, and we were having a great chat. And uh, I love The Onion newspaper, as anybody does. And uh, really hitting it off with this guy. His name's Joe, and he's a great guy. In the midst of talking to him, this weirdo keeps interrupting us, you know. Hey, Neil, you know. This guy looked, uh, it was, had, sort of have a, had a Dane Cook look, wearing... Um, wasn't Ed Hardy, it was uh, Affliction, one of those type of t-shirts. You know, Neil, I just want to meet you, and you know, this sort of thing. I'm trying to have a conversation, you know, nice to meet you, but I'm trying to have a conversation. Suddenly, he, the guy says, I just want to say one more thing to you, Neil. I know you hate me. And then I looked at him and realized it was Dane fucking Cook. It was actually, Dane, it wasn't a Dane Cook looking guy, it was Dane Cook. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, I was on the spot because he had, he, he seemed to have, uh, he seemed to have the rundown on anything I'd ever said about him. Mm -hmm. But I have to say, he was a real gentleman, he was a real sweet guy, I had a great chat with him and uh, I might still mention him from time to time during the course of my set, anybody would, but uh, Actually, he was quite a nice guy. The Olsen twins, Metallica show at Bonnaroo, hanging out in the VIP section, watching <laughs> Metallica, uh, look over. Hey, is it the fucking Olsen twins? No shit, it's the Olsen twins. Well, I figured, man, I've got to go offer them some weed or something, you know? <laughs> they don't smoke weed or anything, but we had a chat and it was cool. I, I ended up with uh, one of their numbers, but it was hilarious. Is that true? Uh -huh. You, so you have the number of an Olsen twin? I have a number. I've never called it, but I've got it, maybe just in case. Did she give it to you because, like, she wanted to, like, date? No, or I think just, she, like, to hang? No, I think she thought I was, uh, a, well, I was filthy, and I was coming off this wicked LSD binge at that <laughs> point. I guess maybe I, it was, I was, you know, I was her kind of buddy. 